Hi everyone and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to talk about Project Ice Worm. Project Ice Worm was a top secret United States Army program of the Cold War which aimed to build a network of mobile nuclear missile launch sites under the Greenland Ice Sheet. The ultimate objective of placing medium range missiles under the ice close enough to strike targets within the Soviet Union was kept secret from the government of Denmark. To study the feasibility of working under the ice, a highly publicized cover project known as Camp Century was launched in 1960. Unstable ice conditions within the ice sheet caused the project to be canceled in 1966. Details of the missile-based project were secret for decades, but first came to light in January of 1995 during an inquiry by the Danish Foreign Policy Institute into the history of the usage and storage of nuclear weapons in Greenland. The inquiry was ordered by the Parliament of the Kingdom of Denmark following the release of previously classified information about the 1968 Fuel Air Base B-52 crash that contradicted previous assertions by the government of Denmark. To test the feasibility of construction techniques, a project site called Camp Century was started by the United States military, located at an elevation of 2,000 meters in northwestern Greenland, 240 kilometers from the American Thule Air Base. The radar and air base at Thule had already been in active use since 1951. Camp Century would be described at the time as a demonstration of the affordable ice cap military outposts. The secret Project Ice Worm was to be a system of tunnels that were 4,000 kilometers in length and used to deploy up to 600 nuclear missiles that would be able to reach the Soviet Union in the case of a nuclear war. The missile locations would be under the cover of Greenland's ice sheet and were supposed to be periodically changed. While Project Ice Worm was secret, plans for Camp Century were discussed with and approved by the Kingdom of Denmark. The facility, including its nuclear power plant, was profiled in the Saturday Evening Post magazine in 1960. The official purpose of Camp Century, as explained by the United States Department of Defense to Danish officials in 1960, was to test various construction techniques under Arctic conditions, explore practical problems with a semi-mobile nuclear reactor, as well as supporting scientific experiments on the ice cap. A total of 21 trenches would be cut and covered with arched roofs, within which prefabricated buildings were then erected. With a total length of 3,000 meters, these tunnels also contained a hospital, a shop, a theater, and a church. The total number of inhabitants would be around 200. From 1960 until 1963, the electricity supply was provided by means of the world's first mobile portable nuclear reactor, designated PM2A, and designed by ALCO for the United States Army. Water was supplied by melting glaciers and then tested to determine whether germs, such as the plague, would be present. Within three years after being excavated, ice core samples taken by geologists working at Camp Century demonstrated that the glacier was moving much faster than anticipated and would destroy the tunnels and planned launch stations in about two years' time. The facility was then evacuated in 1965 and the nuclear generator removed. Project Ice Worm would be canceled and Camp Century closed in 1966. The project generated valuable scientific information and would provide scientists with some of the first ice cores still being used by climatologists today. According to documents published by the Kingdom of Denmark in 1997, the United States Army's Ice Worm Missile Network was outlined in a 1960 Army report titled Strategic Value of the Greenland Ice Cap. If fully implemented, the project would cover an area of 130,000 kilometers square, roughly three times the size of Denmark itself. The launch complex floors would be 8.5 meters below the surface, with the missile launchers even deeper, 
and the clusters of missile launch centers would be spaced 6.4 kilometers apart. New tunnels were to be dug every year, so that after five years there would be thousands of firing positions among the several hundred missiles that could be rotated. The Army intended to deploy a shortened, two-stage version of the U.S. Air Force's Minuteman missile, a variant that the Army proposed calling the Iceman. Although the Greenland ice cap appears on its surface to be hard and immobile, snow and ice are viscoelastic materials, which slowly deform over time, depending on temperature and density. Despite its seeming stability, the ice cap is in constant slow movement spreading outward from the center. This spreading movement over the course of a year causes tunnels and trenches to narrow as their walls deform and bulge, eventually leading to a collapse of the ceiling. By mid-1962, the ceiling of the reactor room with Camp Century had dropped and had to be lifted 1.5 meters. During a planned reactor shutdown for maintenance in July of 1963, the Army would decide to operate Camp Century as a summer-only camp and did not reactivate the PM-2A reactor. The camp resumed operations in 1964 using its standby diesel power plant. The portable reactor was removed that summer and the camp would be abandoned altogether in 1966. When the camp was decommissioned in 1967, its infrastructure and waste were abandoned under the assumption they would be entombed forever by perpetual snowfall. A 2016 study, however, found that the portion of the ice sheet covering Camp Century will start to melt by 2100 if current trends continue. When the ice melts, the camp's infrastructure, as well as remaining biological, chemical, and radioactive waste, will then re-enter the environment and potentially disrupt nearby ecosystems, including 200,000 liters of diesel, PCBs, and radioactive waste. Thanks for watching. What did you think about this secret government project? And which ones would you like to hear about in the future? Tell us in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed with your notifications turned on. And I'll see you next time.